Hi, I'm Rob Kellogg, and today we're going to talk about hexavalent chromium. Now, it's a big word, uh, but it is a carcinogen, which means a cancer-causing material that you could find in the construction industry and that we need to be aware of where that is, how to avoid it if at all possible, and then if we can't, how to protect ourselves from that. So hexavalent chromium comes from an activity within the metal environment where we actually heat up metals like stainless steel, which can be at least, uh, not should say at least, but as little as 10% of chrome in that metal. And when we heat that chrome up, that chrome becomes um, agitated, for lack of a better term, and actually disconnects. And I'll show you the process here. Once it goes and disconnects uh, from its base metal that it's protecting, because that's its primary purpose, is to keep from rusting uh, any of the materials like iron, for example. Uh, when it makes that contact, it breaks free of it and becomes a free radical, for lack of a better term. And once six of these get together, they actually connect and cause the uh, an element called uh, hexavalent chromium. So what that is, is a material that once it comes in contact with human tissues, it actually will extract or alter the cellular level of that cell and cause those hex chrome elements to actually fall apart, relax, go back to a normal state uh, where they're no longer hazardous, but now you're left with a cancerous cell. So the cancer cell, if not taken care of by your body and its immune systems will actually grow and then continue to grow unless stopped and grow into cancer. And that's really what we're concerned about. Now, you may have all heard of the story of Erin Brockovich, where she actually went out and took samples from um, an electrical company that was uh, dumping hex chrome materials into these pits um, behind uh, their facilities. Well, these pits actually were not lined, and therefore it seeped down into the well of the water of the communities. And then that was pumped into everybody's homes, into the pools, into the bathing, their cooking, you know, the watering, their lawns, whatever they might be. Uh, but they were overexposed to this and caused the entire community to become uh, infected with uh, cancerous um, issues. And there are multiple issues. So once hex chrome gets in you, it, it can do a lot of damage. So we want to make sure that if we're working in an area that has potentially hex chrome potential materials, we want to avoid this by simple processes. So the first thing we want to do is understand the process of how hex chrome actually develops. And when we go back to basic chemistry, uh, and I'll explain it to you on the board, I'll show you how that process works. <clears throat> so once we get into an iron element, and that's what the Fe represents, that's iron. Once it connects to a chrome element, bonds, then we have uh, the ability of that hex chrome um, to not rust. And that's rusting process is started when an oxygen element actually bonds with an iron element. And then we get that reddish, nasty, pitting material afterwards. So it's a uh, almost a, it's a reaction, it's a chemical reaction between the two. So once we have a CR connected to an FE, that uh, oxygen cannot bond to the FE element and therefore it prevents it from rusting. And that's what stainless steel primarily does. So if you've ever dropped something that's stainless steel in water, let's say let it sit in the sink overnight, come back next day and it's perfectly fine. Well, that's the purpose of it because oxygen was never allowed to touch it. So what happens is when we put a heat element to that, that iron element, a heating me mechanism, then we take that, that bonding activity between the two and we break it. And this becomes free-floating or, or airborne on its own. And once six of those get together, they actually start to bond. And once we six completely put together, we call it hexavalent chromium. Hexa meaning six, valent meaning connected or bonded, and then chromium, which is the element. So six connected chromes cause that issue. Now, where do we find that when it comes to the construction practices? Well, welding operations. So anytime you work around um, plumbers or HVAC guys who are putting a heated torch to a stainless steel pipe or supply line, something of that nature, if it goes red, you can be assured that hex chrome is being developed at that particular moment. Uh, red iron is coated uh, with a chromium-based material to prevent it from rusting. And that's what we get out there. So when you have your iron workers get out there, start striking arcs on this material, uh, they produce that hex chrome, and anybody downwind of it, 
uh, is potentially going to be contaminated for whatever purposes. Now, again, it's we have to be considerate of the activity. If it's a quick weld, wind blows by, there's going to be very little exposure. But if they're welding all day uh, and they're doing that kind of activity uh, downwind of you or upwind of you and you're downwind of them, that's a concern and you want to be uh, aware of that. So how can we protect ourselves from that? Well, hex chrome can get into your body in just about every way any chemical can get into it. Um, it can go through absorption. Um, those are pretty rare. But mainly you're talking about ingestion, inhalation, and through the mucous membranes like your eyes, your nose, your ears. Those are the exposed parts of uh, mucous membranes in your body. So those are the ones we have to be concerned about. So we want to cover those up. So if we're going to get into a respiratory environment, and we have a lot of hex chrome potential material coming down range, maybe we wouldn't be wanting to work there in the first place. So you might want to bring that, that concern up um, to your leadership. Let them understand the potential of what's going on here. And if not, have them watch this video. And if they have further questions or concerns, call me. And that's what we're here for is to give you that heads up. So be very, very aware of your surroundings, not just what you're doing, but what everybody else is doing around you. And that's going to help you be safer and stay healthier through the course of your, your career in the construction industry. So as what I said before, if you have any questions, give me a call. And as always, remember, safety is not a state of mind. Excuse me, safety is not... A mindset, it's a state of mind. Have a heck of a day today. Thank you for your time. Bye.